you who had told us good and tales. I'll be up there for some neighbour and the way that he eats snails. It was a rather late night phone calls to the Kanga from his lair. This is Amy Ed calling Kanga. Has the news reached you up there? Seems a real mystery's brewing and the plot's got quite thick. You're the law where you get moving, because I need to see you quick. Now the emu, he was mad. Well, he was good and fair and just. And the Kanga was his sheriff. There's no job he couldn't bust. It was their 14th year in office when on this horrid night. Well, hundreds of animals making their way for the sheriff outside in the moonlight. Well, they opened up a path for him, direct to Emu's hall. Then they watched him as he entered. Someone cool. And as he entered, he saw Emu pacing up and down the floor. G'day, Kanga. Good to see ya. Come on in and close the door. Seems we've got a problem here. The neighbourhood's disturbed. I've had complaints from bat and cat and fox and hummingbird. And every other animal that you have ever heard. So sit right down and listen close to every single word. The possum has gone quite insane from eating all those snails. Instead of simply chewing them, he sings and chews their tails. And the animals are so upset, the problem's here with me. Is he singing so off key? Well now for 14 years the kangas job has been a little quiet. In fact, the first time he was called was on this very night. Oh, the situation here is bad that this possum must be arrested. Or you cannot sing my own chew and snails as the animals have protested. Well, when the Kanga checked his gun and his badge and he hopped outside to here, well, the claps and cheers of thousands of the animals from round here, and he hopped off over the hillside, and in his ears the cheers were ringing. Save the village from destruction! Drop the possum from his singing! Well, not far off in the distance, Kanga stopped dead in his tracks, for he heard an awful screaming wail and he wanted to turn back. But he faced his fear and hopped along under a great gum tree. Well, he found the possum chewing snails and the sound brought him to his knees. But he was singing at his loudest. Kanga's ears did almost burst. For here was possum munching on snails singing songs that were the worst. He was so off key the tree looked sick and the Kanga's tail did quake. And the possum took another bite and once again his voice did break. Well, with one paw over both his ears the Kanga got up close. Then he grabbed the possum by his tail and shook him off his post. Well, and the possum, taken by surprise, quit singing for a tick. And the kanga gagged his mouth up tight to silence those sounds so sick. You listen here, you possum. Your singing's right off key. You used to be a quiet bloke while eating snails for tea. And now the neighbourhood's in shock. Your singing is so bad. They've taken all that they can take. They've had all they will have. After many hours of talking, Kanga got his point across. Well, and the possum changed his attitude about singing as he chomped. And the agreement, which still stands today and which the animals did jeer, is that the possum can eat all the snails he wants as long as he doesn't sing around here. And still the emu is the mayor, and the Kanga the police. And the animal community rests quietly at peace. Well, and the possum still gets talked about, but everybody's proud that he now can chew his dinner without singing out much too loud. <laughs>